Okay, now is where we are going to get real and we are going to start running with the big boys and running ads on Facebook with a business manager account. This is where everything can be brought in and run more as a business other than just boosting from your Facebook page. So business manager is a tool that allows you to separate your account. Um, it's going to allow you to manage multiple pages. You can have multiple ad accounts inside of your business manager. And you're also going to be able to grant others permission to either run ads, make posts on any accounts or any pages that you have. And you can limit some of them with what they can and cannot do. And the best thing is, is when they leave, if they leave for any reason, you can literally just go in and take them off your account. So you have a whole lot more control. It's way better than just boosting. And if you're going to run a business that's running Facebook ads, or you're going to run Facebook ads for someone else's business, you have to have a business account set up. So who needs a business account for Facebook? Basically any business, any person, anybody that's running more than just one person. Um, if you want an agency, you have to have this. If you want an agency to run ads for you, you have to have this. And if you want to control position permissions. So if you start off, number one, you have to have a Facebook account, which you know pretty much everybody does. And then what you want to do is go to business.facebook.com. Usually you can get there. I have to go to business.facebook.com slash overview because I already have some business accounts. So this is your business manager. As you can see, manage ad accounts, pages, and people who work on them all in one place. It's free. You can read a little bit about it. You know, Facebook will tell you everything you need. But basically, you click the big blue button and click create account. So from there, you're going to start filling in some information. Your business and account name. I'm going to make this for our flip-flop your life. That is our business that I'm going to set it up. My name is that. And then my email address. So this is just your information. And then you click next. You're creating an account. And then you fill out all this information. I'll pause that because you don't need to know all that. Before I do that, I'm just going to walk through this. Basically, putting your street address city, state, zip, all that stuff, the website, if you have one, and then this business use down here. This account is primary. This account primarily uses Facebook tools or data to either promote its own goods or services or provide services to other businesses. Most of you will click promote your own goods and services. If you're just a business that's going to run ads or that's going to have somebody else run your ads, make an ad account, business manager account, and then click this button. If you are going to run ads for people and provide services to other businesses, then put this one here. But as I said, most of you will need that one. So once you do that, you click submit, you get bang, your business was created. You got to go to your email account and click to confirm your address and then you're done. And I'm going to pause this while I go confirm it. All right. Add email address is verified. And you come to this. And now you're going to need to add some people, add some pages, assign some people, and get ready to go. So go to business settings. First thing you're going to do is add an ad account. <clears throat> you can have multiple ad accounts. You probably don't need more than one. But you're just going to add a new ad account. If you already had an ad account, you can request to be added to it or you can create a brand new one. So the difference in this is your business will control billing for this ad account. You're claiming one that already exists or you can request access. So if you have one that you already own, you're going to add that. 
If you have somebody you're working with that already has one, you can request it. But what we're going to do right now is create a brand new one. So that's what you want to do. You add account. I'm going to call it flip flop your life. Same thing. Fill out the information correctly. This business is going to be my business. If you're doing it for another one, you can add it to another business. But if you're running this for yourself, it's going to be your business. Just read it, understand it. Click create. Watch the wheel spin. And now we're going to add people and set permissions. So I am logged in in Angie's account because I already had too many ad accounts. I couldn't add any more. So pretending this is you, I'm Angie. You're going to click that, add yourself, and then we're going to give ourselves admin access to manage the ad account. Just click this one thing. All those slide over. If you want somebody else, you can search. But right now, it's probably just going to be you, and you're going to assign yourself to your own ad account. Created a new ad account. Next thing you need to do is add payment methods. And this is where you put your credit card in. So just go ahead and add a payment method. Put in everything you need to know. This You don't get charged anything until you start running ads, so don't worry about that. You have to have a credit card in there to run ads. I'm not going to do this right now because I'm not going to be running ads right now. So once you have added yourself as a manager, you can add other people as a manager, and then you added the payment. The next thing you do, just go right down the line here. You've added a user. People is all you need to worry about. But you click on that now. It should just be Angie. Flip flop your life. Angie's in there. From here, you can edit what they can do. You take them off. Delete them. Next thing we need is a page. So if you're going to run ads from a page, that's the way Facebook ads work. You don't just run ads. You actually have to have a business page. So you can either add one you already own, request access to it, or create a brand new one. We already have one. So you just start typing in. And it should pop up, whatever you want. Flip Flop Your Life is the page I want to add. Add a page. And then you can see that this page is currently owned by the Cherubi Beanie Company, which is us, and linked with an Instagram business profile, which is ours. Add both now by entering the Instagram password. I may know that. So this is what's cool about Facebook Ads Manager because you can now run Facebook ads and Instagram ads separately together, either one. So I'm going to add all these. Click add. Why aren't we doing anything? Oh, pop-up window is blocked. Okay, I had to add my son's mowing business page that he used to have. So it didn't work for me, but it should work for you. I, I have a whole bunch of accounts, so I get everything screwed up. But once you add it, it's going to say, since you're already a page admin of this page, your request was approved automatically. If you have your own business, you probably probably already have the business page, and you're the admin of it, so it's going to, be automatic. If you don't, you should just make a new one or you got to request access to it. So that's it. Close. You now have people. You got yourself signed up. You've got a page now that you can run ads to. You've already done the ad account that you're loaded to. And you can go through some of these and just make sure security, if you want to turn on two-factor authentication, which on your Facebook, it's a good idea. You can add another admin, verify your business, and that's about it. You can always go down here to business info, change this if you need to. Don't think you need to verify. I think that's just for certain businesses. But I'm only allowed to have one ad account, which is what you have probably. Other than that, you are now ready to run an ad. And Okay, so... If we are running ads for you or helping you out, 
you are going to need to add either Angie or I or somebody on our team, whoever is in touch with you. We're going to have to add them to your account. So go up here to the top under users, click people, and you're going to click add, and then you're going to need to enter their email address, which they probably gave you. It's probably Angie, Angie at CherubiniCompany.com, Pat at CherubiniCompany.com. Enter it in there. You're going to give them admin access and click next. That's all you have to do. And then we'll get a notification and then we are ready to run ads. So the next step after you get all this done is watch the next video where we talk about running ads. So now is when it starts to get real.